Before flashing the firmware, let's show you how to check the firmware version of your TX module and receiver to prevent duplicate flashing. There are two methods to check. We will take iFlight's ELRS 2.4 GHz device as an example. There are two ways to check the firmware of your TX module and receiver. We will use iFlight's ELRS 2.4 GHz device to demonstrate. Method 1 Checking with Successful Binding First, make sure the remote control and receiver have completed the binding. Short press the left 5 axis menu button. Find the Express LRS menu on the first page, then press the right 5 axis menu button to scroll down and select the menu. Once enter the menu, wait for the status bar to refresh, then scroll down to see the firmware version of the TX module. For the receiver's firmware version, scroll down and you'll see the other device's menu. Right-click to enter. Select the second option and click again. When the status bar has finished refreshing, scroll down and you'll see the receiver's firmware version. Method 2. Checking without binding for receivers. First, make sure the remote control is disconnected from the receiver. After the receiver is powered on, Long press the boot button on the receiver for about 2 seconds, the light will start flashing quickly, indicating that the receiver is in Wi-Fi mode. Alternatively, if it's not convenient for us to press the receiver button, we can power on the receiver and leave it for 60 seconds until the status light starts flashing, indicating that it has entered Wi-Fi mode. Now we can find a Wi-Fi named Express LRS RX on the device, with the default password is the lower case of its name, Expresslers. If the device is connected to the TX module before, you don't need to enter the password again. Once connected, the device will automatically jump to the flashing interface on the website. If it doesn't, you can enter 10.0.0.1 in the browser. Press enter, and you will enter the ELRS main interface. At this point, you can see the current firmware version below the icon. Both phones and computers can use this method to check the firmware version of the receiver. Thanks for watching.